Hi there, Laura here. Today I am going to be doing a dupe for the, what's it called? The Colourpop Baby Got Peach palette. This is something that I plan to do when I do my shop my stash. And I'm going to be, I, I watched lots of videos and lots of swatches and comparison videos and things. But the one I found most helpful was from Makeup Just For Fun, Amanda. So I'm going to put her video up in the cards if you would like to actually see her comparing the Sweet Talk palette and the Orange palette and the Strawberry Shake palette to the actual Baby Got Peach palette because um, that was really helpful for me doing my um, dupes and um, it made it so much easier. <laughs> So thank you Amanda, that, was, that made my life so much easier and it was a really good thorough video so I would encourage you to go and watch that. And this is what I ended up with. Now these two here, I can either mix these or I have actually got another colour from a palette that I can put in. So I'm going to go through and show you in the swatches and I did this look with this palette. So from what I can see in the Baby Got, Got Peach palette from Colourpop, it's a quite a light kind of palette. It doesn't have a lot of depth in it. So they obviously decide peaches don't have a lot of depth, but if you actually look at a peach, it has got a lot of depth and I think they should have included something like, like this. <laughs> in it but they didn't <laughs> so the first color I'm dripping is called darling and that is like a matte warm orange pale so I had chosen this one which is from the strawberry shake palette called paper straw and then the next color is the glitter now I don't have anything like that glitter but if I was trying to do a palette like this I probably wouldn't want to glitter in there anyway so what I'm actually going to do is I'm using from my Focalore Sunrise palette I'm using Champagne as a base which is just a pale shimmery kind of apricot shade which almost looks like my skin tone and then I'm going to go over it with my glitter eyeliner as I said, I don't have anything like it. And this is my Chi Chi one. And what's this one called? Dust, Stardust, it's called. And it's got a like a white base, but it's got kind of iridescent yellow, goldy, pinky glitters in it. I don't know how well this will show up on camera because it is quite subtle looking but it is actually really pretty. Is it going to show up at all? What if I turn the light down? Oh, that was up. If I turn the light down, does that show up? Not hugely. It's a bit hard to see. You'll just have to believe me that it's really pretty. Or I could put something like the Super, Super Shock Shadow Extreme in here. And this one is called Can't Party Wait. Which looks like this, but it's way pinker than the um, glitter in the palette. So I couldn't actually dupe that one. But I wasn't too worried about that because... I don't actually want a pressed glitter in my palette anyway. <laughs> and then the next one is, so that was called Hungry Ghost, the glitter. The next one is called Perky in the palette and I am using from the Sweet Talk palette, Work It for that one. And this is a brighter orange matte. I could say it's a brighter peachy match, matte, <laughs> if I could talk, um, a brighter peachy matte because that's basically what it is. And 
and then the next one in the palette is called Get Even and this is like a little duochrome type thing. This one I got from the Strawberry Shake palette and it's called Very Fine and when I was looking at the comparison swatches this one was almost exactly the same. That's that one. Did I tell you what it was called? I did, didn't I? Yeah, so that was from the Strawberry Shake palette and it's like an orange kind of pinky duo chrome colour. It's really pretty. I'll probably say that about all of them because I, I like all the colours. And so that was Get Even in the actual peach palette. And then the next one is the one where at first I mix these two together. This one is Sweet Talk Dream Maker and this one is the Colourpop O oh Ship because this one was just a little bit light and it needed a bit more colour in it but then I went to my Focalore So Hot palette and I found Chili and this one basically when I mix those other two together this is what this looks like. So it's kind of slightly pinker and one day I'll learn how to swatch in a way that you can actually see what I'm doing. So it's a it's a pinker peach colour in darker than kind of these kind of ones. So that's what that one looks like. And then the next one is from the Sweet Talk palette as well and this one is called Melody and that is the Glaze It colour from the Peach palette. So this one, that's what that one looks like. So that's a more, more pink version of this really so it's a bit lighter and it's more pink with that um, sort of peachy duochromey look to it and this one is a brighter colour with a lot more of the orangey peachy colour in it and then for the next one I ended up in my Sofix palette from Revolution and I got Cloudberry which is actually one of the favourite colours from that palette and this one was a kind of a muted orange matte and it was the one that was called Okur so it's O-K-U-R-R -R. and I thought that looked like a pretty close match may not be quite dark enough but it was pretty close and then for the next one was um, ready or yacht which was a very pale kind of shimmery shade and I just thought I could use the sweet talk side to side one which is a super shock shadow It is quite an orangey kind of super shock shadow. I don't know how well that will show up. But um, I wasn't sure if it had enough pink in it. So the other alternative was actually using the Birthday Treat Trooper Super Shock Shadow. which has a little bit more, a little bit more pink. I don't, I don't think you can see that at all, hang on. Let me turn the light down again and see if you can see that now. So that one was the one out of the Sweet Talk palette and that one was the birthday treat one that you... So they're slightly different tones and I think the one in the palette is kind of in between those two. So I've just got a choice of either one. Make sure I put the lid on properly on that. And then the last one was pretty close. This was from the 
the orange one, aren't you? What is it called? Orange You Glad palette. And this was You Peel Me. And this one was almost a dead on dupe from what I could see. And that's what we end up with. And I'll turn the light down. So, oh, well, what happens if I turn it off? Can you see any better? What happens if I shine my light on it? You can't see anything at all. <laughs> So that is my dupe for the peach palette. So I've done this look and I this is my first look so I will put that in and I will do a couple more and show you some different things that I would do with this palette if I had it and what my thoughts are at the end if I think yeah I still want that palette or no I can dupe it perfectly well. At this stage I'm going to say I think I can dupe it perfectly well apart from that glitter, which I'm not that worried about. But we will see as we do some looks, because often my thoughts change as I do looks, because I find, oh yeah, this is really good, or this is missing this to make this kind of look. So, so we'll see how we go. So here's look one. Tell me, are you going to get the peach palette? Are you interested in it? Or have you got your eye on some other ColourPop palette? Write your answers down in the comment section and let me know. I'm really curious. And then I think, mm, I want to go in with maybe the last one in the palette, which was called Half Baked. And I'm using the one from the Orange You So Glad Colourpop palette in You Peel Me for that. And I'm just going to deep up that, deepen up the outer corner. And then I'm going to go back into Chili. And I might go into the one from the Sweet Talk palette called Work It, which is the third one, which was called Perky in the Peach palette. And I'm just going to put that here. It's slightly more orangey than the other one. That one's got more of a pinky look to it. And I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. So here's where I'm at so far. And I'm going to use a purple liner today, just to be completely different. <laughs> so this is what we're looking in like so far. And then I'm going to go into the NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Highlighter in Twilight Tint. This is actually my daughter's, but I'm borrowing it off her. It's cracked in transit though. <laughs> and I to do a little pop of that on the top of some of my cheeks as well. And then I'm going to do my mascara and find a lip and then we will be finished. So here is my final look. And I used the Rimmel Katie 43 lipstick. And then I just, in the middle, I did a little bit of, where did I put it? My Focal Raw in Garnet, which is a glitter lipstick. This one I'm still on the fence about because it applies really weirdly, but I really love the colour. What happens if I go over a bit of, with my bit of L'Oreal Extreme Resist Gloss called Hold and Close? But 
it doesn't help much. So for look two, I think I'm going to go for a softer peach look because I feel like a lot of people who would want the peach palette would want a softer look. So I'm going to experiment with a softer look today. So first of all, I'm going to go and get my, get my notes so I know which colour I'm going into. So I think I'll go into the lightest matte shade first and I'm going to go into the one that would be Darling, which was the first one. And this is from the Strawberry Shake palette in Paper Straw. And I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. And then I'm going to go into what would be centerfold in the peach palette and I'm going to go into this one here which is out of the Focal Law So Hot palette called Chili on a small fluffy brush I just want to put it on the outer corner there Now this is where I feel like there's something missing out of this palette because um, I want something to buff out this area here but I want something light and I don't want it sparkly but I, mean, I could just use a cream matte and everyone's going to have a cream matte somewhere in their collection so I don't feel it needs one but if I was just using that palette and nothing else then I wouldn't have what I wanted so I'm going to go and get cream matte or in this case it's not actually a completely cream matte it's um, from the iconic timeless beauty collection from Chi Chi and I wanted to go in with this colour here which is like a very pale peach like a skin colour for me yeah that's what I wanted something really light that'll just buff out that colour and then I'm going to go into <laughs> keep dropping stuff I'm going to go into sweet the sweet talk palette super shock shadow called side to side and this is my number eight ready or yacht and what do I want to put this on with because normally you use your finger but I'm not going to use my finger and I think I'm going to go back into that very first colour that I used, which would have been Darling in the peach palette. And I just want a really little bit, just to make this look a little bit peachy at the inner corner. But I still want to keep it light. So that's what we've got going on so far. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. So here's what we got so far. So for blush today I used my Wet n Wild Hummingbird Hype 1 which is a sort of shimmery apricot gold blush which I really use as a blush topper normally because it's so shiny <laughs> but I wanted something kind of soft and for my blush today I used the Pixi by Petra Rose Gold Blush Duo and I just used the highlighter section that the lovely Kelly Wesley gave me in some friend mail. So that's what I've got going on and I did a very light bronzer so I actually used the Wet n Wild bronzer in Ticket to Brazil because um, as I said I was going for a much lighter look today. 
And now I'm going to do under the eyes and I'm going to go in with that colour that I stuck on the outer corner. And I'm thinking I want a brown. I don't think I want to do liner today. My headband's itching. <laughs> I'm sure you wanted to know that. Um. <laughs> I'm going to put my mascara on. I think about what I want to put on the inner corner because I haven't decided. <laughs> so there is my look finished for number two in my version of the peach palette. And so for the inner corner, I ended up going into my Chi Chi eyeliner in Stardust and just put a tiny bit in the corner. I don't know how well that'll show up, but when it catches the light, it just shines a bit peachy. And for my lips, I used the Rimmel one from the Cake Collection in number 43, which just is a kind of nude, slightly apricot nude, slightly peachy nude. <laughs> and was there anything else I put on? Oh, in my waterline, I used something that I put back. Hang on. I used the Maybelline Master Drama Light Liner, so it's a brightening eyeliner, so it's just um, just kind of a beigey skin colour one in my waterline, just to brighten it up a bit. So there is my more natural, soft, romantic peach look. Okay, we're on to look three now, and I think first thing I'm going to do is go into the darkest colour, which mine is from the orange Glad palette called You Peel Me. So that would be half baked in the peach palette. And I want to go on the lid with this one. And then I'm going to go into the middle shade in the palette, which was Centerfold, which is my one out of my Focal Also Hot palette, called Chili. I'm going to put that through the crease. You can see those two are basically the same colour, but one's a lot darker. And one's a lot lighter. <laughs> one's more browny, one's more peachy. But they're pretty much the same. Just different shades of the same colour. And now I'm going to go into a fluffy brush and I'm going to start off with this one which is the very first one in the palette. This is Paper Straw from the Strawberry Shake palette, which would be Darling in the Peach palette. And then I'm going to go down into Cloudberry from the Soph X palette, and this one would be Okra, O-K-U-R-R, -R, Okra, in the Peach palette. Brush to one. Then I'm going to go into this one, which is from the Sweet Talk palette, and this one's called Melody. And in the Peach palette, that would be one, two, three, four, five, the sixth color, and that would be Glaze It. I'm going to go into my 
Super Shock Extreme Shadow from the Party Talk set, and this is part Party Cloudy. So it's a gold glitter, basically. <laughs> Don't stick your fingernails in there, that's not a good idea. And I think I'm going to use some glitter glue with this because I think I'm going to need it. And I'm going to put some glitter glue in the inner corner and on the outer, and then I'm going to put that on over the top. I'm just going to blend the top out there with a bit of a creamy colour. This might be too dark, so we'll see. And I, I think it'll be alright. Because all the other colours are a bit too dark for blending out what I want there. And then I'm going to go into... I haven't quite got the right colour. I'd quite like a kind of a liner, this kind of colour. But I'm just going to use my Master Drama from um, Maybelline and Brownie Glitz. So I'm basically just joining up the bit where the glitter was. And then I'll go back into the darkest brown shade. This one here, which was the Appeal Me from the Orange palette. And I'm going to just go over that liner. So I went in the waterline with my Colourpop liner in Puppy and I wasn't getting quite the effect I wanted with the Super Shock Shadow so I went over it a little bit with the Milani Hypnotic Lights and I don't know what colour this one is, it's an 01 so if I can find the colour I'll stick it in the description box. This is actually a lip topper but I used it on my eyes so I just put a little bit of that in the inner corner there to give it a bit of extra shine and a little bit here. So now I'll clean up around my eyes and things because um, although I've got some makeup on a lot of it's worn off so it needs a bit of a tidy up. And here is my look three. So because a lot of the colours that I chose for my palette, my dupe of the peach palette, were from Colourpop anyway, I feel like I got as close as I could get to those colours and um, when you first look at that palette you don't think you'd get something this bright and dramatic from it. So it was quite interesting to try that out and see how bright I could go. So you could go really light and peachy and airy as the palette would suggest or you can build it up and get a lot more depth into it. And on my lips I have got the L'Oreal Lip Art Lacquer in Gone with the Nerd and a little bit of LA Colors Gloss in Snuggle just in the middle there. Did I put anything else on while I was gone? No, I don't think so. I think that's all. So what's my conclusion? Do I think I still want the peach palette or not? I was pretty sure before I started that I probably wouldn't need it and after using it for three looks I would say no I don't need the peach palette. I've got lots of peaches and even more than what I've sorted out for this palette I've got lots of peaches I've, and thought I would show you some of the other peaches that I've got. So this is only a small sample. So I've got this one here, which is the Sunrise Impressionism palette by Focal Law. So it's got some nice peaches in here that would work in well with that. I've got the Chi Chi OMFG eyeshadow palette. And it's got a nice peach here, which is a darker one. I have got the Revolution Life on the Dance Floor guest list, which is basically full of all the colours you could want. But I mean, the peaches are mostly in here and maybe here. But this one will do everything I need as well. But when I think of peach, I think of spring. And the other colours I think of in spring is yellow and green. 
So I saw Courtney KH reviewing this palette, so I will put her video up in the cards. And um, I, this just spring, screamed spring to me, this palette. So it was the Living Coral palette. And this is what it looks like. And it's got, it's got your peachy colours. It's got your yellowies and your greens and a bit of glitter. And I thought, this looks very spring-like in what I like to wear in spring. So, um, I'm going to play with this palette later and tell you what I think of it and do some looks with it. Because to me, this is my spring palette. And with all those other peaches I just showed you, as well as the peach dupe that I made in here, I don't need the peach palette. And it is one of those ones that I've kind of talked myself out of as well. Since they brought out the peach palette, they have brought out the lilac palette. What did they call it? Lilac you a lot. And that one I'm really interested in, and I think I've mentioned that in a video before. And that's because it's got lots of duochromes and the lighter sort of purple colours, which I don't have hardly any duochromes especially in those sort of violety blue kind of colours. So I am really interested in that one, and I don't think I could dupe that one anyway. So I don't need the peach palette, but I think I need the lilac you a lot palette. <laughs> so that is my conclusion and my three looks with the peach palette. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.